here with James McFadden on uh, King's Royal prelim night. So you guys are planning on taking a provisional, but also you're looking at trying to race your way through. Little balance between and can't hurt to try, right? What's the mindset going there coming from the cement? Oh, we just we got a new car, so it's um, we don't start too bad in the seat. It'd be just good to sh shake it down, get a couple laps, just to make sure everything's okay for the A. Basically, this is a car we'll have to run for the King's Royal, so just get some laps, make sure you know it's somewhat where it where it needs to be, and um, yeah, take a provisional for the A. So just basically doing the C to, to make sure everything's the way it should be. All right, so take me through what happened with the wreck in the heat race. Was it a single car? Did something happen in front of you, or did you just lose it? Yeah, I just I got in dirty air, and I was full lock left, and I didn't want to turn, so I just got on the fence, and uh, I think, you know, it probably wasn't that bad until that uh, car come in pretty late and, and hit us, and then it moved the front of the car across a bit. So, yeah, just my mistake, just struggling to get it turned for that whole lap, and... and you know, I probably should have gone lower and slid myself, but there was an opening there, and and I, uh, yeah, I didn't get turned. So yeah, not a not a good way to start, but it is what it is. I know you're hardly a rookie, at least with this track, but coming here and trying to learn how to race at Eldora, how difficult was that learning curve doing that from Australia? Yeah, it's um, it's a big learning curve here. Um, it's really easy to be fast. When your car's right, um, it's just really hard to know what you need to do for your car and make it better. Um, it's not a hard place at all to, to get around. Um, you know, you, if you keep your hands straight and your car goes around the track, you can do a fast lap time. But once it gets slow and slick and, and up against the fence and, and three or four different lanes, that's where it's fun and, and difficult and, and uh, it's a lot different to home. So uh, I think you see a lot of Australians come over here and do decent when there's a bit of grip. And um, as it gets slicker and slicker, that's when it gets tougher. So. And beyond just, I'm James McFadden, I'm talented, and I'm not speaking boisterous of you, how are you able to tame that better than most of the Aussie guys in the field? Uh, I just guess it's experience over here. Um, you know, you look at Kerry and Ian, they both run races here, and, you know, we've had two runner-ups and led some laps at King's Royal. I really, really want to win a race at Eldora. That's sort of one of my big bucket list goals. Um, but it's just, you know, understanding your car, getting a good feel for what you need in a car here and, and, and what you, you know, need to do as a driver with aero and stuff like that, what I didn't do in the heat race. Um, you know, it's all momentum. You can't, you know, you can't slide across it and spin the tyre. Otherwise, you're going to, you know, lose three or four spots. So, yeah, it's just, it's a tough place to get your head around. Um, just like Knoxville or Williams Grove, they're all diff different in their own unique ways, but definitely one of my favourites for sure. And unique week here with... The million yesterday and just having this kind of normal points race on a friday what do you think of the atmosphere how are you able to kind of attack that oh it's cool man anytime you get to do laps at eldora is really cool uh great weekend obviously thanks to tony and, and eldora for for making this such a big weekend for sprint car racing um tonight feels a little like uh you know we're just here racing after you know if i was logan i'd be pissed that i'm racing tonight but um you know it's a good tune up for tomorrow and um or detune like I've done to myself. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good thing to, to come here and get as many laps as you can. For us, it's our, you know, it's our first weekend here, obviously, with all the stuff that went down. So it's, it's, a, it's a tough place to get your head around when you only come a couple times a year.